good morning welcome to nifty prediction to join my whatsapp group i'm charging 350 rupees per month you will get well in advance those prediction details as well as calls in the group and uh, if you like my video and if you want to support me you can donate me using these bank details and pay tm gp and phone pay let's go to the market nifty ended up in the positive 11313.30 186.90 points in the positive, 1.68% in the positive. Open around 11,152.95. Low went around 11,090.15. High went around 11,321.60. Let's go to my prediction review. In my, in my data, uh, the uh, indication shown in the positive weightage as well as ratio but average in the negative side but weightage in the positive side but i have mentioned specifically about these uh, weightage is almost evenly poised 2.99 versus 2.92 it is evenly poised whenever these evenly poised comes means all three results are possible we have saw so many times once again today is also uh, it is reflecting i mean yesterday is also, also it is reflected the market has opened in the positive but somehow it is managed to go down towards the negative it has broken the uh, two key levels of resistance level one and support level one so which means it is kind of a confusion state of mind but after that it has ended up in the big positive due to this particular reason because uh, whenever these kind of data comes means all three results are possible that is the reason i have uh, specifically mentioned about uh, trade in the small quantity if you are in the right way you would have ended up good profit but if you are in the wrong side means you would have uh, eroded your loss with the minimum because of the quantity size so these kind of data comes you need to play with the less quantity because due to we may not know exactly which side it is going to break out because it is all depends on how it is going to break out on specifically uh, uh, yesterday what happened is it has broken the resistance level uh, one and uh, support level on both sides has broken but uh, we have the frequencies on the positive side but we don't have the frequencies consecutively on the negative side even support level and also we don't have uh, support level 2 also we don't have but market has somehow kept the low in the support level 2 after that it did start to move towards the positive direction so it is very tough to trade whenever this kind of evenly poised comes because uh, normally as per the buying level we need to keep stop loss in support level 1 if it is breaking means it must not to break the resistance level uh, for the short level so it will become extremely bearish but somehow it has broken both side which indicated and which confused a lot but uh, after uh, uh, this particular support level one the stop loss level we, we would have maintained 11,084 is a stop loss for buying if anyone would have kept this particular level as a stop loss the market low is 11,000 90 so the 10 point loss stop loss still worked if anyone would have gone and buy this particular stop loss level and go for a buy it is a risk state normally whenever this kind of breaking level uh, still we can maintain with the stop loss and go buying is advisable but it is a risky trade I, all you need to do is that keeping 10 point stop loss if the stop loss is not going to it you are going to book profit and uh, if these two levels are breaking it will become a volatile market but still one would have uh, kept a stop loss here around 10,161 if it is breaking that level 11,000 sorry 11,161, 11,71 as a stop loss for a sell they would have uh, erode big losses because after that it has gone up around 130 points and we all know that anything breaks this open target level it become open target for the bullish so after that it has gone up around 120 points from that particular level and market has ended up 11,313 so these are all the basic levels which we need to follow uh, once again repeating whenever all four ranges if evenly poised comes we need to play with the cautious note and with the less quantity number of size let's go to the prediction for Thursday the ratio indicating positive 6 is to 5 average indicating positive 3 is to 0 absolute frequency indicating positive 3 is to 2 and the weightage indicating positive 3.45 versus 2.15 which means all indicating positive and if the pre-opening is supporting in uh, positive means it may become once again a good positive market so uh, pre-opening needs to open at least one point in the positive but one key which we need to watch out is the difference of 
these two scams ones we already saw that so many times whenever this kind of uh, one point different comes means in the market may uh, react in the opposite direction as well so which means it is typically like a volatile market once again it, it shows because if these two is indicating downside the other two is in any positive which means 50 50 um, so even though it is showing 69 percent chances to end up in the positive but and 30.96 percent chances to end up in the negative but still market may have chances to end up in the negative side even though this is very less but still the market may have chances to end up in the negative side but recovery we can see but up to 100 points it has average uh, downside uh, so we need to watch out uh, that as well at least minimum 60 to 70 points it may go down on this specific day after that it may recover a bit if the pre open is in the negative it may go even for the downside to 100 points so that is we need to watch out the pivot level is there around 47.52 points so anything less than that market will try to come down anything above that will only market will try to go towards to the positive and we don't have resistant uh, uh, absolute frequency in the resistant level 1 and uh, resistant level 2 we have uh, second resistant level absolute frequency but in the uh, support level we have uh, uh, three support levels and we have absolute frequency in the support level 1 itself so uh, the market may try to attract toward to the support level 1 initially uh, so after breaking that level we need to watch out how it is going to be because the bearish uh, open target level is having around 11,002 78 anything 11,268 is indicating open target for the bearish side so if anyone wants to go for a buy they must have to keep stop loss in this particular level but still 5 minutes chart is indicating downside uh, so we need to play very cautiously on the positive side bullish level is having around uh, 11,467 and 11,457 469 so anything above 11,479.6 is only indicating open target anything less than that market will always try to come down so even though the bullish level we need to watch out uh, if it is not breaking definitely it will come down so 11,457 is not going to break market will always come down so it is uh, 146 points to 161 points it is there so we we need to keep uh, stop loss somewhere around in the volatile range if the market is opening in the negative so we can go with the stop loss of these two levels uh, 10,000 sorry 11,404 and uh, 11,374 or 11,433 these three levels you can keep stop loss of 10 points and go for a short if the market is opens in the negative even one or two points or no if the market is opens in the positive side still we need to play very cautiously the downside may go up to 60 points to 100 points let's see how the market is going to give us on thursday thank you